In this video, you're gonna learn about a way to get into the front office of an investment bank without going to university. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've spoken to you directly, but here we are. Today, I wanted to talk to you about a very big and important opportunity that I think will be relevant for a lot of you watching this video, and that is the JP Morgan Front Office Apprenticeship. For those of you wondering what an apprenticeship is and how it differs from an internship, an apprenticeship is basically a program for school leavers, so for young people that don't wanna to go to university or do higher education, they can leave after their GCSEs or their A-levels and join an apprenticeship program. An internship, for those of you that don't know, is typically done in your second year of university and it's over the summer, it might be six weeks, eight weeks or ten weeks. So an internship is for uni students for the most part and an apprenticeship programme is for strictly for school leavers. Apprenticeships have actually been around for quite a while but they've typically been for careers in manufacturing, engineering, construction, media etc. Um, but in recent years companies like PwC and EY and JP Morgan they've all started to do their own apprenticeship programs and allow school leavers to enter their workforces. Another example would be Goldman Sachs who do an apprenticeship program for those interested in technology. So they've partnered with Queen Mary University where you join, you don't go to uni, you join their apprenticeship program in technology and you work in technology at Goldman straight away after your A-levels. Now that also comes with a qualification so you get like a computer science degree at the end of it, it just means you don't go uni, you don't take on that debt and you end up with a full-time role after your apprenticeship of three or four years. Having said this, most apprenticeships by the banks and the consulting firms have predominantly been for roles in what's typically known as the back office. So it's been rare to come across apprenticeships that allow you to not go to uni, but end up in the front office of an investment bank, for example, or in a client-facing role. And that's why this video today is important because it's quite different in that JP Morgan are doing an apprenticeship where they're keen on taking the school leavers and getting them into front office careers. Let's get straight on to the specifics of the JP Morgan front office apprenticeship program. Essentially, it's a four year program available to UK school leavers. So anyone who is a UK resident that doesn't want to go to university, who has done their A-level, they can apply for this program. They will be given an apprentice salary of around £20,000 per year and the first cohort will have around 50 people but obviously with time it's likely to grow and I'm sure JP Morgan will expand this, take it to different countries um, and grow the initiative because I'm sure it will be a huge success um, from year one onwards. Yes, it's a base salary of around 20k for the apprentice and I mean that's not bad for an 18 year old but some of you are probably thinking hold on, a graduate would earn 30, 40, 50k um, and yes that's the case but every apprentice after their four year program has the opportunity to you know, join as a full time graduate or full time analyst and earn those salaries but for the apprentice period or for the apprenticeship period they'll be earning an apprentice salary which is reasonable, I mean you're avoiding uni debt and you're earning 20k in four years that's 80k compared to your peers who will be coming out of uni in like 80k debt so it's a good position to be in. Now this is very important although it's a front office apprenticeship program the first two years or so of the four-year program will be spent in operations. For those of you that don't know operations is considered back office so it's not a client facing role and a lot of people want to get into banking because they want to work in the front office. Now two years of the program is spent in back office and only after those two years do you get the option to kind of apply for roles in the front office, whether that's in sales and trading or the investment banking division. So it isn't always gonna be easy. It's not, you know, you don't just skip university and get into the front office. You do your two years in operations, you apply for front office roles. So similar to, you know, if you graduate as a student, in uni, you're gonna to apply to these roles in the front office. If you do the apprenticeship program, you still have to apply to the front office roles you'll be put through the relevant assessments and interviews and only if you succeed in those, only then will you be 
doing the second two years of the program in your choice of investment banking or sales and trading. And so if anyone is interested in this program, it's really important to be aware of that. You know, it's not front office straight from the get go. It takes some time and some grunt work before you get the luxury of applying to those positions. This program, once again, is for A-level school leavers. So not for school leavers who are completing their GCSEs, but for those of you who have done your A-levels and you're keen on a career in the world of banking. If you do go onto the front office section of the program, you get access to opportunities in M&A, equity capital markets, debt capital markets, or you can do the other route of going down the sales and trading route, which there's already an apprenticeship program for that, which I'll touch on in a bit. So for those of you that don't want to go to university, but you want to break into banking, the typical route would be go to uni in your first year, do a spring week, second year, do an internship, convert that to a grad scheme. If you can't convert that, then in your final year, go and apply for grad schemes and then break into banking. This apprenticeship program lets you skip all of that and just go straight into the investment bank, but you start in operations and then with time you try and break into the front office. So JP Morgan already have apprenticeship programs in operations, which is back office, technology, back office, and sales and trading, which is front office. They launched this one in 2019 and clearly it's worked and so they're considering expanding it to investment banking division. The reason why they do this, I personally think, look, university isn't for everyone. There's a huge cost to going to university and you shouldn't have to go to university in order to enter work at an investment bank. And so JP Morgan are kind of being innovative and forward thinking and creating these opportunities for young people who don't want to go to uni, but want to break into the world of finance and banking. And so this is another avenue to kind of do that. Also, right now, I've mentioned this before, most of the internships or most of the apprenticeships, sorry, are focused on back office roles. There's not many apprenticeships or not many banks are doing apprenticeships where they give you access to the front office. So for JP to do this, to be the first to do this, it looks good for them. It's good that they're doing it. And it kind of, you know, will hopefully convince other banks, other big banks, other global investment banks and consulting firms to kind of do the same. Don't just do apprenticeships for young people in back office roles, which tend to be less uh, lower salaries compared to front office roles, but open the opportunities for front office roles where people can earn more, the bonuses are higher, you get more client interaction, so on and so forth. As well as looking good for their brand, apprenticeships in the UK are sponsored by the UK government. And so it's kind of in the company's interest to do more apprenticeships. Having said that, for those of you who aren't in the UK watching this, unfortunately, this program won't be open for you, given it's strictly for UK residents but you never know in time there might be programs for you across Europe, Asia, Africa and America. So pros, the pros are pretty simple. You enter the world of work working for one of the most prestigious, highly regarded investment banks in the world at the age of 18. Not many people get to do that. It's a very rare opportunity, but an opportunity that brings a lot of weight with it. To have that stamp of approval on your CV that says JP Morgan, that holds a lot of weight. It makes you immediately more employable. Compared to all your peers that go uni and graduate, you're gonna be in a position where it will be easier to get employed. You'll be more attractive as an employee. But also, one of the major pros is that you're not just going there and doing an apprenticeship program. It's actually in conjunction with Exeter University. So you get a applied finance degree from Exeter after you complete your four years with JP Morgan. You also get a qualification from the Chartered Institute of Securities and Investment, so CISI, um, and they're an investment and securities uh, qualifications organization. So it's another stamp of approval that you kind of know your stuff about the financial markets, economics, so on and so forth. So you do your four-year program, you get the work experience, you get the degree, you get the qualification. On top of that, you earn a salary. So when your peers are coming out of uni, you will have easily a huge savings in your bank account or you know, you've earned enough money to kind of you know, put a deposit down on a house to start your own side business, to do this, to do that. You're in a good position. So those are some of the pros of doing this program. Some of the cons include, yes, you do miss out on the university experience, whatever that might mean for you, the social value that it brings, the academic value that it brings to your teenage years or your latter teenage years and your early adulthood you know 
everyone's uni experience is different and if you do skip this, um, if you do do this apprenticeship program it means skipping uni and so that's a con in itself. It means you miss while your peers are having fun in uni, skipping lectures, making friends, making connections, enjoying that uni fun life, you're missing out, you're going to be going and doing a 9 to 5 job which might not be as fun as the experiences of your peers in university so that's something to be aware of. Also a big con or negative, potential negative could be you know you do the apprenticeship hoping to break into the front office but after two years in operations you struggle to break into the front office so you end up missing uni and you don't end up getting in the front office. That might be disheartening for many of you um, so that's a potential reality so it's something to be aware of um, but I, I do think after two years in operations at a bank you will know the bank inside out if you're on it, if you're serious you can break into front office if it's really something that you want to do naturally you will be well positioned to get in so yeah nothing is guaranteed and it's always important to be realistic and be aware of that before getting yourself into anything i personally think this opportunity is very very good for anyone interested in careers in banking for anyone that's doing their A-levels, coming up to the end of their A-levels, it's definitely something you can check out. I'll put all the relevant links and stuff below so you can find out more. Um, it's a tricky one, like do you go uni, do you not, do you join the world of work at the age of 18, earn a salary, do you take on debt, all of that. I, it's a really good opportunity and I'm glad that a big bank like JP are doing it um, because it will allow other banks to follow them. Um, to have the opportunity to break into front office so early on is great. Um, there are a lot of risks involved. If I so if I put myself in your shoes, back when I was 18, after doing my A levels, if I had this opportunity, hands down, I would have took it because I was of the mindset that I don't want to go to uni. I'm only going to uni to break into banking. So if I had the apprenticeship opportunity, what I would have done is I would have applied and I would have applied to uni as well. And then if I got rejected from the apprenticeship, I would have gone uni. If I got accepted into the apprenticeship, I would have gone for the apprenticeship um, and just, you know, seen what happens. Because the truth is, and it's always important to remember, uni is always going to be there. You can go to uni at any point in time in your life. So it's always going to be there. You can do it at any time. However, this apprenticeship program isn't always going to be there for you. You're only going to be a school leaver at one point in your career. Or academic career you're only going to be 18 once so back then so what 2010 2011 nine or ten years ago I would have gone for it I would have done the apprenticeship however like I didn't have the opportunity I went to uni and from my uni experience I got a lot I met a lot of people at uni I actually met my wife at uni and because I went to uni I did all the spring weeks I did all the internships and I managed to get an offer at Goldman Sachs and so I was able to break into a front office role thanks to going to university. So in hindsight, sitting here today, I would have definitely gone to uni still. Um, but back then, if, you know, if I wasn't here today, if I rewound the time and didn't know what the future would look like, I would have taken the apprenticeship route. So it really is a very personal choice, personal decision that you're going to have to make for yourself. But definitely one piece of advice from me is always consult your closest friends, your family, the people closest to you, your inner circle, um, because they will know what might be good for you. But in the end, it's a decision that you're going to have to make. Um, and it's a big one because it's, it's your future and your career and it's very, very important. Hopefully this video has been informal for you. Hopefully you've learned a thing or two. If you're doing your A-levels or if you're in uni, if you're a graduate, what have you, whether you enjoy the content or not, let me know below what content you want to see me making going forward. If you have subscribe to the channel thank you make sure you hit that notification button so you never miss an upload if you haven't subscribed make sure make sure you hit subscribe and if you're new to the channel <clears throat> no like comment subscribe all of that good stuff if you watch this if you made it to the end make sure you give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video peace